uh, came through fine. Um, Kai is uh, just getting treatment and still, you know, way, way, uh, not way, but he's still got a, a, some miles to make up. So, um, but progressing and, and sticking to his rehab. Ryan Mahoney, AP. Hey, Steve, you pretty much didn't use the bench almost at all last night. Uh, you know, is it just sort of a loss of confidence in some guys or just are some guys not as effective without Kyrie in the game with them and, you know, not able to kind of, they're not getting space or whatever. You know, what what's the reason they're not getting in, I guess? A little bit of both. You know, I mean, frankly, you know, we, we got some, um, you know, more inexperienced guys on the bench and, uh, so we're, we're playing heavier minutes for the guys who have been there before. And, and then a little bit of it is having Kyrie out, and, you know, kind of limits our options. So I'd say both are, are fair. Stefan Bondi with the daily news. Hey coach. Um, you guys have obviously played, um, a lot better at home um, in the playoffs and in the regular season. And not all that can be attributed to the crowd. I mean, there was a lot of the season where there was no crowd. So, I mean, what what is the key there for you guys? And, and um, you know, does that give you confidence coming into this game seven? Yeah, I mean, we I thought we were pretty good on the road this year for the most part, but playoffs are a different animal, fans and all that. So, but we, we certainly are confident. You know, this is exciting for our guys. You know, get a chance to play game seven at home. That's why we uh, – we, scrapped it together all year under adversity to try to get that highest seed as possible. And, and that's the reward is that we get to be at home tomorrow night. So it's, it's incredibly exciting day tomorrow for all of us and uh, great opportunity. Malika Andrews, ESPN. Steve, just to clarify, does miles to make up, is that miles he can make up by tomorrow or is Kyrie out for game seven? He is officially out. Thank you. Ian Begley, SNY. Hey, Steve, just on the transition points um, in game six, did you see any of that as a, as a product of James not really being able to go as much as he usually does because of the hamstring? Well, that's certainly a part of it. I mean, there was, there was plenty of really clear opportunities where he put the brakes on and had to manage himself um, and protect himself. So, yeah, that, that is that is definitely um, a part of this this uh, puzzle for us is that you know James is uh, not not uh, at one hundred percent. So he, he he's got to protect himself, and so that that's going to limit some of our options, some of the things that we do. Well, you know, he, James is so talented; he can do so many things on the basketball court. But in particular, you know, that is one area that you know he's not going to be able to do. He's not going to be able to you know push the ball in transition. Steve Lichtenstein, WFAN. Hi, Steve. Uh, Giannis didn't take any threes yesterday and seemed to really focus on getting into the paint. When you look back at the film, did you see things that you guys could do better? Yeah, for sure. We, we always do. I mean, we, we know that they definitely, he definitely, and they definitely tried to get him deeper in, uh, in the paint and, and around the basket. And he made a concerted effort to, to I think, do so as well. And, um, you know, we, we got to make sure that we're locked in and we don't give up any of the freebies where we're not in, in our schemes, we're not uh, aware, and we're not giving the appropriate support. Ryan Lewis with the New York Post. Hey, Steve, I'm curious uh, what Middleton was able to do to you guys. Would that give you cause to think about switching up defensive matchups and who's guarding him? You know, I think the reality is, is that every, a bunch of guys are going to have to get a crack at him. Um, so we will change the matchups. We'll look at different schemes and we'll do, we'll do various things and, uh, try to make it difficult for him. Back to Stefan Bondi. Hey, Steve, you guys haven't been shy at all about your championship aspirations for this season. Um, I mean, given that, like, how big is this game? Um, and, and does it, you know, when you have players with experience in, the, in this type of situation like Kevin and, and James, does it help or hurt when you say, hey, this is an enormous game, we have a lot of pressure on ourselves, or do you just ignore that? You know, I don't think we look at it. We've gone through so much this year. It's like this is not uh, the way we envisioned our playoff run. Uh, losing Guy, having James be, you know, in the position he's in, Jeff Green be in the position he's in. Uh, so we just 
look at this as a great opportunity. We're still here. We're still alive, given everything that's happened to us. So we, we feel more in a sense that, uh, you know, we, we've done an incredible job to get, get here and give ourselves a chance at home to win a game seven. Back to Brian Mahoney. Steve, if you're, you're saying, I was saying, and we all saw that, that James can't push the ball, um, you know, if you're not beating anyone off the dribble, is there, can you win at this pace or do you have to find someone else to get in there who, who can do it if James can? Yeah, I mean, I think we can make adjustments. So we, 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 we definitely can improve on the things we did. And, uh, you know, we were able to do it in game five. So we, 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 there is solutions to be made. There are adjustments we can, we can have. And, and as much as anything, you know, it sometimes comes down to shot making, you know, especially early yesterday, we had a lot of good looks that didn't go in and, and, and that hurt us. Uh, we also were very careless with the ball and, and made errors that led to transition opportunities. But, um, you know, I, 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 we, this is what it is. This is the deck we have. I mean, we, we're going to solve as many pu puzzles as we can. And we're also going to try to um, play our hearts out and, and enjoy the opportunity. And, and as we have done all year, we've, we've found ways to persevere and to give ourselves an opportunity when it didn't look good. And, uh, you know, for us in, inside our, our group, we feel great. We feel excited for the opportunity. We feel a lot of belief and trust and uh, excited to, to go out there and, and play in front of our fans in the deciding game. Back to Tom Dowd. Steve, you, you've got lead guys with a ton of playoff experience, even if, uh, as we talked about, not a lot of it together. But how significant is that uh, in a game like this? It's important. You know, it's important to have experience. Um, you know, it, it obviously hurts, you know, the, the lack of experience, common experiences, the lack of corporate knowledge. Um, you know, so much change this year, different lineups, different players on our roster, different rotations, uh, lack of health, uh, all those things are factors. But, you know, we still have guys that can play. We still have guys with belief and trust and, uh, and experience. And so, like I said, uh, you know, we, we, could, we could be down, we could be out, but uh, we found a way to hang, hang in, stay alive. And, and we, we have a lot of belief and trust going into game seven and we're excited for it. Christian Winfield with the New York Daily News. Hey, Coach, I, I remember we asked you about the 10-second thing earlier this uh, in the series with Giannis, and, and you were saying, you know, you're not sure if it is a rule or if it isn't a rule, if it's being enforced, if it's not being enforced. Have you gotten any clarity from the league or from the officials as to whether the 10-second free throw rule is, like, something they're actively enforcing? Because it seems like he goes over 10 seconds every time he shoots a free throw. So I think that's your answer, answer Christian. They, it's, it's, they're not, it's not being enforced. Um, so... Uh, you know, like that's, it's, you know, that's a totally different discussion. Like we're trying to win a game. We're worrying about ourselves. I'm not going to worry about if the league's calling 10 seconds on the free throw or not. Um, you know, if, if I really cared about it and, and put up a stink, do you think they would change anyways? I doubt it. <laughs> so Probably not. You know, worry about my guys, our team doing the best we can and all the things that we can control. Last question back to Ian Begley. Steve, I know this is something else that you're not worried about at the moment, but uh, with Kyrie, when you said miles away, does that mean that he's been ruled out definitively? Like if you guys had advanced, has he been? No, ruled no, no. For a long time? Okay. No, I, I, I think, um, you know, if we're able to advance, you know, he, he'll be back at some point. So uh, I don't know if that's in a few days, in a week or beyond, but, uh, you know, I think he's, you know, he, it, it's not a season threatening situation. Thanks for your time, coach. Thanks guys. Thanks, Steve.